when it came to Star Wars figures, every three years, Kenner would kind of relaunch the line when a new movie was released. The Star Wars figures crossed over to the Empire Strikes Back logo, and then the Star Wars and Empire Strikes Back figures would cross over to the Return of the Jedi logo. But in 1985, Kenner had no new movie to promote, so what did they do? They started a whole new line called Star Wars Power of the Force, and today we're going to take a closer look at that line. In 1985, there was no new Star Wars movie to promote, and Kenner was starting to see sales drop in the Star Wars action figure line. But Kenner held on and released Power of the Force action figure line. 37 figures would be released on the Power of the Force logo card. Out of those, 22 were just old figures reissued on the new logo. And out of those 22, only 19 would be released in the US. 15 new figures would be added to the line. And that's 15, not 17. Back in the 90s, when the vintage collecting boom started, a lot of people was unsure that two Ewoks did appear late in 1984 on the Return of the Jedi card, and the term Last 17 was given to the Power of the Force figures. However, through the years it was clear that two Ewoks was released on the Return of the Jedi card, but the term Last 17 has stuck, although there were only 15. Out of the 15 new Power of the Force figures, only 14 would be released in the U.S. Yak Face was released outside the U.S., but Anakin Skywalker was released in the U.S. as a mail away offer. However, it was not released in the U.S. on the card. 92 figures were shown on the back of the card. Although Yak Face is officially part of the Power of the Force line, he's not on the back of the card. To get kids back into collecting Star Wars action figures, Kenner came up with a new plan. Have them come with a collectible coin. 62 coins to collect. The coins would come packed with the figures, but a year before the Power of the Force line, you could order these cards through a mail-away offer, and you could call up Kenner to request to buy all 62 coins. However, this was never promoted by Kenner. You just had to be lucky and call and ask to buy it. Out of the 62 coins, 35 of them was packed on cards. Two of the rarest coins to find is Jack Face and Anakin Skywalker, again, as these were not released in the U.S. Adat Driver and Nigto both came carded with the coin, but that coin was an Ewok coin, but there was more to the line than just Power of the Force action figures. There were vehicles. There was the Ewok Battle Wagon and the impressive Tatooine Skiff. Both of these came with a planetary map that showed Yak Face. If you were a kid in 1985, you were like, who is this action figure and why can't I find him at the store? There was also mini rigs released under the Power of the Force logo. The One Man Sand Skimmer, Imperial Sniper, and the Security Scout. There was a playset released through Sears that came with three Power of the Force action figures. This was the Jabba Dungeon. However, that box has a Return of the Jedi logo, and you could buy it a year earlier with three Return of the Jedi figures. A C-3PO and Darth Vader carrying case in Return of the Jedi box was sold with two free Power of the Force figures at KB Circus World and a few other discount stores for $3.99. This was most likely something done at store level to move some dying merchandise. There was plans to re-release more figures in 1986. The Rancor, B-Wing, and the Imperial Shuttle would have crossed over with the Power of the Force logo, along with the older figures being re-released on the logo. The A-Wing was also planned to be released in the Power of the Force line, but Kenner decided to move it to the droids line. A figure of the dancer seen in Jabba's palace was also planned for the Power of the Force line, but Lucasfilm canceled that figure. A collector's coin album was also planned to be a mail away offer that would hold 16 coins and come with an exclusive gold Jedi Knight coin. But that's a closer look at the Power of the Force line. It's a great looking Star Wars line. Although there were some questionable figures released in this line, there were also some really great figures. Well, that's a look at the Power of the Force figures from Kenner. Thank you for watching. As always, thumbs up on my content. Subscribe to the channel. And we'll talk again soon. Hey, Jumpman <laughs> channel popping though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs>